Ever notice how this narrative that we get from the media, from Democrats, you're a victim, you're oppressed, you're held down by the man, that this narrative is completely rejected by real life sports coaches and even those in movies? You gotta think about your life. Being a black man in America isn't easy. The hunt is on. And you're the prey. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, survive. All right? That's uplifting. What does systemic racism mean? This is such an important question, Nissan. Racism is not about just the end of the times where you are called a bad word by somebody who's ignorant and doesn't like black people, right? That's prejudice. Instead, it's about how society is really structured to keep people of color from positions of power, to make it more difficult, say, for communities of color to own property, to own homes, to advance in society. It's been said over and over again uh, that you cannot trust this president. Uh, not only is he a liar, he does not believe in anything scientific. Uh, so the president of the United States cannot be relied upon. Uh, someone said he needs to be quiet. He needs to shut his mouth and he should do that and allow CDC uh, and um, NIH and others to deal with this issue and to help us through it. You know I called this out in no uncertain terms on August 3rd and every day since then and I was talking about it long before then as well. Racism in America is endemic. It is foundational. But coaches whether in real life or in movies they don't want to hear about excuses. They don't want to hear about anything holding you back. What a contrast. No, 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 no. You, you don't want me to go much further. Go right ahead. Ask your question. Vernon, Vernon just uh, it was something that I told everybody at the very beginning of the week. I will not tolerate um, players that think it's about them when it's about the team. And um, we cannot make we cannot make decisions that cost the team and then come off the sideline and it's nonchalant. No. You know what? I, I, th this is how I believe, okay? I'm from the old school. I believe this. I would rather play with 10 people and, and just get penalized all the way until we got to do something else rather than play with 11 when I know that right now that person is not sold out to be a part of this team. It is more about them than it is about the team. I cannot play with them, cannot win with them, cannot coach with them, can't do it. I want winners. But in popular media, you get the opposite. The man holds you back. You're minding your own business watching a sitcom and all of a sudden the sitcom turns into a Democrat political talking point. Let's say they listen to the cops and get in the car. Look what happened to Freddie Gray. Yeah, and what if they make it all the way to the station? Mm -hmm. You remember Sandra Bland? And let's say they do make it to trial. Mm -hmm. You see where that gets us? Don't you get it, Bo? The system is rigged against us. Maybe it is, Dre. But I don't want to feel like my kids are living in a world that is so flawed that they can't have any hope. Oh, so you want to talk about hope, Bo? Obama ran on hope. Remember when he got elected? And, and, and we felt like maybe, just maybe, we got out of that bad place and made it to a good place. That, that the whole country was really ready to turn the corner. You remember that amazing feeling we had during the inauguration? I was sitting right next to you. And we were so proud. And we saw him get out of that limo and walk alongside of it and wave to that crowd. Tell me you weren't terrified when you saw that. Tell me you weren't worried that someone was going to snatch that hope away from us like they always do. Wow. <laughs> like they always do? Destroy your dreams? My goodness. This high school coach had a somewhat different perspective.
If you go back to that spot for me, and I look down this hallway, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I'm looking at a bunch of hungry football players that have a job to do. You've seen you, you've been working to this point your whole football life. Make this 48 minutes the best 48 minutes you've had in your football career. I'm not going to tell you to play perfect, but I'm going to tell you to play like a raving lunatic that has nothing to lose because you don't. And when you realize that, that's when you make the decision that you're going to play your best. Because if you don't, you don't have it tomorrow. You don't get another 48 minutes. And that's what we're here for. The pride, the tradition, the family. Yeah, about the guys in this room. Nothing else. 48 minutes for everybody who's here. Do you understand me? Yes, coach. Do you understand me? Yes, coach. Everything we talk about. Everything that we've talked about since you entered this program. Family, pride, tradition, heart. It comes out tonight. Do not leave anything in this locker room when you walk out. Nothing. You play this game until you are empty. I don't care what you do. With your blocking, tackling, running. You come back empty when that 48 minutes is up and you will win. Do you understand me? Yes, coach. Who are we? Sancho. You're going to go out there and show them what Sancho football is. Do you understand me? Yes, coach. Like Coach Dora Gross has said, we're going to set the line of scrimmage. Both sides of the ball. Run downhill. Fly. Get in the end zone. 11 helmets to the football. You guys got 48 minutes. Make them the best 48 minutes you've ever had, and we will have a positive outcome. Can we do it? Yes, yes coach. You better believe we can do it. Get yourselves ready to go. Oh, and they won. You see, winners believe that excuses, well, they're for other people, losers. I just want to say one thing um, to the fans and everybody. In Gator Nation, um, I'm sorry, um, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for an undefeated season. That was my goal, something the floor has never done here. But I promise you one thing, a lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season, and you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season, and you never see a team play harder and we will the rest of this season. God bless. But left-wing politicians tell minorities that you are depressed. Today, the oppressor is Donald Trump. Tomorrow, it'll be somebody else. And he has a disdain for African Americans and other people of color, whether it's calling all Mexican rapists or calling uh, countries that are dominated by people of color a shithole countries. I mean, he has shown from the Central Park Five to this moment, this president has a great hate and disdain for people of color. Sigh. Even if Donald Trump were a racist, how would that determine how you're going to succeed in your own life? I'm going to tell you all about how much fun you're going to have this season. We leave for camp, Gettysburg College, August 15th, 7.29 a.m. If you report at 7.30, you will not be playing football this season. You will be watching. You will wear a jacket, shirt, and tie. If you don't have one, buy one. Can't afford one, then borrow one from your old man. If you don't have an old man, then find a drunk, trade him for his. Because I can guarantee you there isn't a bum on the street that looks as raggedy and ridiculous as what I'm looking at right now. This is no democracy. It is a dictatorship. I am the law. If you survive camp, you will be on the team. If you survive. Bottom line, it really is up to you. I don't believe it. Mac, it's why you fail. I want people that want to win. Go ahead. What's up, Mac?
I told him that he would do a better job for us right now, taking a shower and coming back and watching the game than going out on the field. Simple as that. I want winners. On this team, we fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the f difference between winning and losing. That's quite a contrast from... All I'm saying is... All I'm saying is... Survive. I want winners. I'm Larry Elder, and we've got a country to save. I'll see you next time.